Alright, welcome to this instructional video about how to set up and play a game of Dominions 4 play by email on specifically llamaserver.net. So the very first thing you're going to do is you're going to create a pretender god using the game tools. Now I'm not going to do that on camera because most people have probably already done that. And uh, I will give you a show here of the list of created pretender gods that I have. And the important thing to do next now is find those pretender gods in your actual uh, computer. Now, for me, I have conveniently made a desktop shortcut for the saved games directory of Dominions 4, and I'm going to just click on that shortcut. Now, depending on your computer, it's going to be located in various places. Now, I'm running Windows 10, and so Dominions saves its uh, information in a folder called saved games under dominions 4 and it is located inside of your user directory uh, under app data roaming now that's again what it looks like for me on my computer it's going to depend on your operating system uh, whether it's mac or what version of windows but yeah uh, username app data roaming dominions 4 saved games and then the hard address for me is c user slash user slash app data now, you see in here, you'll have a whole bunch of different directories, and you'll probably notice that each of these directories is named after a game that you have already, except for one, and that is the New Lords directory. In this directory, you're going to have a file corresponding to every single one of these uh, pretenders that you've created. Now, uh, so for example, we have Yojimbo here, who is a Yomi uh, Oni Kunshu. And instead of showing up as Yojimbo, he is going to show up as Early Yomi 0.2H. And up here we have uh, three different uh, Maverni pretenders, and so they're going to show up as Maverni 0, 1, and 2.2H. All right, so that's important to remember because you will be sending those pretenders to the Llama server itself when you create the game. So let's go to that next. This is Llama server. All right, now only one person has to do what I'm about to do right now, which is to create the actual game that you'll be playing multiplayer. So let's create a Dominions 4 game. You'll notice here at the very top, you have a nice interface that shows a whole different bunch of maps, including maps that are custom maps uh, that, most, that are very popular among different people, but are not currently in the uh, base game. Now I'm going to just choose a map that I know is in the base game. So we're, we'll do big, back, big Black Peaks. Okay, so I've selected that. If you do select a map that is a custom map, you'll get a download link so you can distribute the map among all the players. All right, anyway, Big Black Peaks it's going to be. Max players, I'm going to select two. I'm going to change the era to early. Uh, it defaults to middle. That's one thing to be aware of. And the other thing to always make sure you catch is you need to put in a master password. Now, for me, 2P, for me, just for me, it's saving all these other ones that I've tested out, so 2P test. Let's do that one. Uh, right, all these other ones, all these other settings correspond to settings you set up in a single player game or, a, uh, or basically any game you set up inside of uh, Dominions 4 itself. So, like, let's, for example, if you go to create a new game, uh, once you select the map, etc., it, that's basically what all those settings correspond to. Okay, uh, Thrones Victory, we were going to have a Thrones Victory, and we'll have four points, four level one, and two level two. That's not very important, this is just the way I like to set up multiplayer games. Uh, next is uh, the other settings and mods, nation mods, etc. That I am going to leave uh, behind, I just want to cover the very basics of setting up a Llama server game. But uh, you can dig into that as you see fit once you get the basics down. So the next step is click the button to create the game. All right, let's name the game. And I'm going to go 2P test and the admin password 2P test. And my email address will be captainwadestar at gmail.com. All right, uh, it says forum name and e or email address. You don't need to worry about that. Anybody with an email address can do this, which is what I'm doing. All right, create the game. And let's go to the game page, and it'll say, we are waiting for nations at the moment. All right, so that's the next step, right? Go to your handy-dandy email, and I'm using Gmail, the same one, coincidentally, that I signed up for, uh, or that I used to create the game. So we're going to compose a uh, message to send to Llama Server, and you send it to pretenders 
at llamaserver.net and the subject of the email is the name of the actual game. So the game name is 2ptest, the subject line is 2ptest, and then we simply attach a pretender. Now if we go to our save games, uh, again like I said, unless it's, uh, it may open a directory that's like in a different um, directory than what's convenient, so that's why again I like to have on the desktop a shortcut to the saved games uh, directory, there it is, and that takes us right in there, and you want to open up that new lords directory, and I hope that you remember which one of these is the one you wanted. Uh, I will choose Yomi, so I have that one early age Yomi pretender, and open that up. It's attaching the email, and then I just send that email. And the next thing to do is wait for a reply to come in from Lava Server, and I will see you as soon as that reply comes in. All right, we have just gotten a message back from Llama Server saying that they've received our Pretender God for Yomi. So that's the message. This is just to confirm that we've received the Pretender file and it's for the game 2P test and everything seems to be fine. And here are the nations that have signed up. Only Yomi, All right? I did go ahead and send a, another Pretender from another email address I have. And so the game should start momentarily. One thing I would like to caution is that it's very common for messages to come into your spam folder. So make sure if you're waiting, don't forget that uh, if you're using Gmail or Hotmail, etc., these may come into your spam folder. So be aware. All right, let's see. That's the same inbox. Okay. Refresh. And as you can see here, we'll refresh this, and it's saying that Yomi is joined. All right, and as soon as the game gets started, you'll get another email, and I'll show you that in just a moment. All right, well, that didn't take very long, only a minute, and we have already gotten our reply from uh, Llama Server saying that the game has started. And if we go back over here to our 2P test game and refresh it, we'll see that both Niflheim and Yomi are currently in the game, and the game is waiting for our 2H file. Now, that message we just got 2p test is started. The uh, the Dominion's 4 game 2p test is just started. Find your first turn file and please send your 2h file back to this address, turns at llamaserver.net. And if you want, you can zip it, etc. And it tells you the turn is going to be due by this time on, for me, January 18th. So what do we do next? We have this file. Well, download it. Okay. Show in folder. This is my downloads folder now, okay? And we need to move it into the saved games directory. Now which directory? Well you can make one. I am going to make a game and I'm going to call it 2p test. That's going to be the name of the folder and we open it up. There's nothing inside of there and I am going to drag and drop this early Yomi turn into there and then we go back to Dominions 4 here, play an existing game and all of a sudden, uh, let's see, to test, that was the name of the directory, has appeared in the game listing. So I'm gonna choose to test, play the game, and there it says Yomi, that's me. Well, here we are, Yojimbo, God of Yomi. In the beginning there was chaos, now the wheel has turned once again. Okay, and let's just go ahead and play our turn. So, uh, it may seem a little bit silly to do that, but let's go ahead and do it the way you would be doing it yourself if you were playing the game. All right, and let's see, we don't have Dominion anywhere, that's fine. We'll go over here and attack those fields. And these two guys are scouts, we'll send a scout over there, and this guy will become a prophet. And recruit units, let's just recruit a bunch of bandits. Ah, we ought to get a general, shouldn't we? Now let's get one of them guys. Okay, get one of them guys. All right, and then we end our turn, and we have a green check mark now. Exit. And if we go back into that turn folder for 2Test, we will see that there is now a 2H file in here. So what we do next is, since this happens to be a message from turns at llamaserver.net, I am just gonna reply directly to them. Reply. And we're going to attach a file. Now, fortunately, because this is the last one that I opened, I'm gonna go back to saved games, go into 2Test, and I am going to attach my early yomi.2H file. Okay, there it goes, and we send it off. And in a moment, we will get a message back from Llama Server, and I will show you that. 
All right, now we have a message from Llama Server saying that turn one has been received. And yep, just to let you know that I have received a 2H file from you and it seems to be fine. If there's a problem, they'll tell you. If you send a duplicate 2H file afterwards because you've revised your turn or something like that, it will confirm it for you. And let's see, yep. And it tells you right here that they're still waiting for Niflheim. Now, I personally do not want to wait for <laughs> Niflheim because I don't want to log into my other email address just to play that game. So what I'm going to show you next is an admin option over here. And what you can do is you can force hosting now. So if you have somebody who's, you know, kind of emailed everybody and said, look, I'm not going to be able to play my turn. And, you know, you guys shouldn't have to wait, you know, whatever eight or 12 or 24 hours from me, go ahead and just go to the next turn. Then you can force hosting now and it will ask for the password 2p test force hosting. And now the game will go to the next turn and we will receive our next turn file from Llama server momentarily. I'll see you in a bit. All right, so we've gotten the next turn file from Llama server and Basically, at this point, you've seen all the basics that you need to know about how to do the play-by-email game, but we'll go ahead and go through the next turn as well. So the next 2H file is due by this time on January 17th, and it will tell you right here, turn two for game uh, 2P test. So again, download the file, show it in my download directory here. Okay, and I'm gonna control X to cut it, and we'll go back in here to two test. Now, if you want, you can actually archive all of these uh, 2H files and keep a running history of your game. I personally am not going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and replace the file. So, history is erased forever. All right, go back in here to the game, and we'll play the existing game. Go back to 2Test. Remember, that's just the name of the file directory. Play the game, and we can see there's no green check mark. That means this is a fresh, untouched turn. And here we are, we can see the report from that battle we went into. We lost four bandits and killed a bunch of uh, militia. That's pretty good. Unexpected event, blah, blah, blah. All right, there we are. And as soon as we click that end turn button again, the game is saved. Now, of course, you don't want to actually just skip your turn like I did, but anyway, you can see in here the turn file has been revised, uh, updated with this, or I'm sorry, the 2H file has been revised and updated with the current time. And I just, once again, Whoops. Uh, once again, I just reply and attach that file. And as I said, if uh, I decide later on, after I've sent the turn file in, whoops, that wasn't the file. I forgot to take my turn. Let's go in and take my turn to test. Yeah, it's like, whoops, I didn't move my pretender. Okay, well, let's move my pretender over here. Okay, end the turn. Done. All right, now what do I do? Well, let's go back in here and again, just send a reply once more to uh, turns at Llama server and I'm gonna attach my new turn, just like so, and send it off. And I won't show this on camera, but what will happen is you'll get a message from Llama server saying that we've received your turn and it will tell you that, hey, we've got two turns, we're gonna use the most recent one we got from you and it'll confirm all of that for you. So you can always revise your turns, and that is what I like a lot about playing by play by email, is I can spend all my time uh, working on my turn as much as I need to, uh, within reason, you know, it has a 24 hour, uh, we've set this game up to have a 24 hour turn interval, but you can always change it. Uh, for example, you can change the hosting interval so that right now instead of 24 hours, we can change it to 48 hours. And let's see, what was this 2P test? Just like that. And so now we give everybody a whole bunch more time to wait to do their turn. And you can continue to revise your turn and send it in, which is nice if you're doing uh, real-time diplomacy with friends over email or etc. And uh, yeah, again, like I said, uh, for me, initially when I was going into Dominions 4, I really wanted to play multiplayer, but I thought play by email seemed like a huge chore and a hassle. And yet, when I actually uh, went through the task of figuring out how to play it on Llama server. I am a total convert to the system and I think it's great and I hope that this video is not only instructional but helps to kind of break the ice for any of you who might be like I was and feeling kind of leery of play by email, you know, thinking, ah, it seems like kind of a hassle. 
you know, of course you have to drag and drop files a little bit, but uh, the robustness and the flexibility that comes with it in terms of like, you know, if you have a job or, you know, you just want to be able to spend your time, take your time doing it. Uh, you know, you don't want to have to worry about being online with everybody all at the same time, etc, etc. Uh, it's a really great way to play uh, asynchronously, and uh, that's how me and a few other YouTubers are getting together to play the game uh, on YouTube. That's going to be me, Daz Tactic, Dwarf Comic, Sabout, uh, Marcus Aurelius, uh, Battle Moose, and Tortuga Power. That's those of us who are confirmed at the moment. That's how we're going to be playing it, and uh, that's how we've played it in the past. And uh, any final notes I might have is, again, once again, all you have to do is basically send email to Llama server. Now, one thing I will mention is when, uh, when you do do that, uh, anybody could potentially sign up for your game, but most people don't. I've only ever had one person... Uh, join a game uninvited and I don't think they did it maliciously there's really no incentive to troll people by you know joining a game uninvited because all that happens is the administrator is going to notice that hey you weren't the right person you're not the friend that is whose spot was you know being waited to be filled and they'll just restart the game and it's a waste of everybody's time now as in terms of how you find a game to play uh, the best place is probably the Steam forums. That's where I see a lot of people, you know, posting to sign up for games. And all they do is they'll say, like, here's the name of the game and send your pretender in. We want, you know, more people. Uh, there's the uh, Llama Server forums, but I don't know if those are currently active or not. And uh, otherwise, like me, uh, you just know some people and you email each other and, yeah, set it up this way. And uh, that's all I have to say. I, again, hope that this has helped to make Llama Server more accessible to more people. I think it makes uh, Dominions 4 a lot more fun to play, to play it multiplayer. And uh, yeah, I hope uh, to see you online, either in the comments sections of some of our favorite multiplayer Dominion 4 uh, YouTubers, or if you uh, come to my channel to watch uh, my Dominions 4 videos, I'll talk to you there. Until then, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.